Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number one hundred and forty-nine. Today we'll discuss the notion of Roman numerals. How to convert Arabic numbers into Roman numerals, Arabic numerals into Roman numerals, and vice versa. Let's get going. The Arabic numerals that I just referred to are simply 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is how we write our numbers using these symbols. These are referred to as Arabic numerals because the Arabs were the one who came up with it and later on it was copied on, copied by the Europeans and now everybody in the world uses the same system and it is known as as the Arabic numerals as I said because the Arabs were the one who came up with it. Before before the, before the Europeans adaptation of this Arabic numerals the Europeans used to use the numerical system what is known as Roman numerals. Roman numerals. We're going to first cover the basics of it, and then we'll then we'll uh, do some exercises. So let's get going. So again, here we have one through nine. Same thing here. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five. This is very straightforward. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There is nothing to it. Very straightforward. Very simple, as I said. Now let's do, let's do something more. Here is our 10, 20, 30, and when we, write, when we want to write 40, 40 is going to, let's first do 50, 50 is going to be L, L is 50. L, this is the part that you have to remember, there are some things that you have to remember, rest of the rest of the stuff you already know, L, the symbol L is used for 50, and just like, just like when we want to write 5, when we want to write 5, the Romans, the only way they knew how to write 5, is they would write, Five here, and then we'll subtract anything that if a lower number, if a lower value number appears to the left of a higher value number, then we are supposed to subtract it. So here is five. If you write it to the left of it, then it is five minus four. You already know that. Similarly, if it is five, and if you write to the right of it, then it is five plus one. It is five plus one. Of course, as I said, you already know it. Just give me one second. I need to erase this thing. The same exact thing will apply. The same exact rule applies as we go into the higher values. So if you want to write if you want to write 40, 40 is going to be written as 50 minus 10. And how do you write minus 10? Just like here, 5 minus 1. How do you write minus 1? You write it to the left of it. So here's our 50 L, and therefore it's going to be XL. 60, same as this one. Here's your 50 and then 60. Let's go on then. 70. Same idea for 75 and then two, uh, 1 and 1, so it's going to be 50 and 10 and 10. Same thing with 80, 80 is same as 8, which is 50, which is L, 10, 20, 30. 50 plus 30. Now when we want to write 90, the same exact concept will apply that applies here. You write your 100, which is C, and then this is C. So if you write it to the left of it, it is going to be 100 minus 10. If you write it to the right of it, it's 100 plus 10. So how do we write 90? It's simply you write your 100 and then you put x on the left. So far so good. This is also very straightforward. Let, let's move on and let's do, the, let's do some higher value now. Okay? We are almost done. We have 100 because 100 is right here. This is your 100. This is your 100. And 100 is very easy to remember because 100, the C stands for the century. As you already know, there's nothing new here. C stands for century and hence the C. Uh, hence, hence the symbol is finally. So 100, then we have 200, 300. You see the parallel? It's the same exact idea as here. Same like 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 10, 10, 10, 100, 100, 100. How are we going to write 400? Same idea as, as this has applied here, which, which, is, which is first we have to figure out what 500 is. And 500 is B. B is 500. I'm going to erase all of this now. And let's talk about 500. D it stands for 500. D it stands for it stands for the Latin word demi. Demi means half. 
that's what they use the symbol here, half, half of, half of a thousand. Just remember it this way, D stands for half of a thousand, D is 500. So how do we write 400? Same thing as before. If we write it to the left of it, it becomes 400. If we write it to the right of it, it's going to become 600. 500 plus 100. 700, 500 plus 600, 500 plus 100 plus 100. You see, X and X, 50 plus 10 plus 10, 100 plus 100, 500 plus 100 plus 100 is your 700. How do we write 800? Same as before. We write our 500 and then 100 and 100 and 100. That's our 800. This is 800. How do we write 900? Well, the symbol that they use for, for 1000 is M. M stands for, M stands for, Millennium. Millennium means 1,000 years. A period of 1,000 years is called millennium. The plural of millennium is millennia, which means more than 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, so on and so forth. So here is our here is our 800. The 900 is going to be 100. Uh, 1,000 minus 100 is 900. 1,000. Minus 100 is your 900, and 1,000, and 1,000 is M. That's it. Those are the basic things you have to know. As long as you, as long as you understand these basic things, the rest is very simple, very straightforward. So let's do the exercises. Let's do the exercise. So the so the important symbols to remember, the important symbols to remember are 50, 500, 100, and 1,000. The rest is very straightforward. Why don't we make a why don't we make a list of those numbers uh, on the top here? So, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1,000. As long as we know this, it will it will get us it will it will it will, it will take us long ways. Let's let's get rid of all of this thing. And let's do the exercises. Okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the prob, uh, problem on the blackboard. If you wish, if you wish, you could pause the video and do it yourself first, and then then compare your work, or you can do it with me. It's up to you. Here's the first one. D L V one. What does that What does that mean? Well, let's find out. D we know is 500. D we know is 500. How much is L? L is 50. And then we have here. 5 plus 1. It's very simple. 500 plus 50 plus 5 plus 1. This is the only way this is the only way the Europeans knew of writing numbers until the Arabs came along and showed them the new way. If they wanted to write if they wanted to write 556, the only way they knew of writing 556 was 500 plus 50 plus 5 plus 1. It's 500 and 56. As you can see, it's a very cumbersome process. It's a very laborious system. Let's do the next one. How about how about 437? 437. Well, uh, let's ask ourselves, how do we write 400? How do we write 400? 400, the only way they, only, they knew to write 400 is 500 minus 100. And how do we write that? 400 is simply 500, which is D, minus 100, so it's C, D, that's your 400, 37, 30 is very simple, 30 is simply going to be X, 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 and then 7 is just going to be, that's it, we're done, so how do we write it, 400, which is C, D, 500 minus 100, 500 minus 100, and then 37, X, 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 30, 30, and then 7, as you can see, it's a bloody, annoying system. And yet this is what they did. The great civilization is mind-boggling how they survive with a numbering system like that. But they did. They, they did more than survive. They flourished the Roman Roman Empire. But this is what it was. This is what they had. Let's keep on going. So that's how we'll write 437. Let's do one more. 
What is this number? M C D X C V 1 1. You have any idea? Let's find out, shall we? So here we have M which is 1000, then we have we, then we have a smaller number, then we have a smaller number 100 which is to the left of 500, which is to the left of 500. If a smaller number, if a smaller number is left to the five, left, uh, if the smaller number is, le le is, to, is, is to the left of a large number, that means we are supposed to subtract it, we are supposed to subtract this 100 from 500, D is 500. So this part here is 500 minus 100. That's very simple. Oh, that's not actually very simple either. I, was, I thought we were done. If we had, if we had, if we had like this, we would have been done. We would have been done. But we don't have like that. We actually have C here, and then so again, C means 100. C means 100. I'm just making sure that's what I had on the blackboard. Yes, C is 100, and 10 is to the left of it. So this part right here that we see there is again. 100 minus minus 10 which is going to give us 90 and this is our 7 so what do we get at the end we get 1497 1497 this is how they would write they would write 1497 let's do one more let's do one more next one I'm going to put in the blackboard you do it How about, how about 1776? 1776. This is a number that you see all over the place, all over the places, all over the all in the history books, in the in, in the historical documents, because that's the year of independence for the U.S. And typically, it appears in Roman numerals because that's what they used back in the back in the old days. I mean that's not the only thing, but it, but in the historical documents they tend to use Roman numerals just for the effect, I guess. Seventeen hundred and seventy-six. Let's find out how to write seventeen hundred and seventy-six. So first we're going to write our thousand, which is M. How do we write our seven hundred? Well, seven hundred is five hundred, which is D, plus a hundred. That's a ten. That's that's not a hundred. Plus a hundred and a hundred. So that's seven hundred. This is 1000, so so far we have 1700, then we have to do 76, let's do it here, 76 is going to be, first we have to write 50, which is L, which is 50, plus 10, plus 10, 50 plus 10, plus 10, 10 plus 10, so that's so far 70, and then we need a 6, so it's going to be 5 plus 1, 5 plus 1, as you can see how annoying that is. As you can clearly see how annoying that is. So here we go. 1,000, 1,700, so that's 500, 600, 700, 1,700, 70, which is 50, 60, 70, and 6, 5, and 1. There you go. This is how you would write, this is how you would write 1776. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. How about 1947? 1947. How do we go around writing 1947? Well, we have to write 1900, but we, they had no way of writing 1900, so the only way they would write 1900, the only way they knew of writing 1900 was to write 1000 plus a 1000 minus 100. That's the only way they knew of writing 1900. 1000 is M, and 1000 minus 100 is simply 1000 minus 100. So that's your 1900. 1900 is going to be M C M. That's 1900. 47 is very simple. How do we? Well, actually, 40 is not that simple. How do? How do they write 40? 40. 40. We're going to write that as 50 minus a 10. 50 is L. So it's going to be. 50 minus a 10. 50 minus a 10. That's 40. So this is this is 1,000. This is 900. This is 40. And then now we need now we need 7. 5, 6, 7. That's it. That number that you see there is 1947. 
Let's do one last one. One last one. This year, as I speak, the year right now is 2014. How do we write 2014? 2014 actually is very, very simple. 2014 is very simple indeed. Up until 14 years ago when we had to write Roman numeral, when we had to write the years in Roman numeral, it was annoying as hell because it was 1900, 1900 and whatever it was, which, which, which gets quite cumbersome as you can see here. It gets quite annoying. But 2000 is very simple. It's very simple because a thousand plus a thousand plus a fourteen. Fourteen, how do you write fourteen? Ten and a four. Very good. That's your current year right now, 2014. Tomorrow we'll do some more of these exercises. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.